Oh shit 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 shit. Do some damage. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming from B. We have taken objective Charlie. Oh, there's another one. Uh straight towards C between C and here. Thanks. Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with an assault video starting off here on Passchendaele. We just started this round as well and I'm using the MP18 trench, the default weapon of the assault class, one of my favorites. And right here, after we took the D flag, I wanted to lead the charge to the B flag, but I got a little bit sidetracked picking off some guys here now on their way to D from A. So now what this turned into was going from the intention of attacking to an unintended defensive flank. Because that's basically what we're doing here. We're flanking the guys that are trying to get to D. I was a little low on ammo there for a moment. Here, I have ammo here. So here's a good example of how good this weapon is at a medium range, even while hip firing. I understand a lot of people in this situation would be very tempted to start aiming down sight, but I prefer to keep the keep it at hip firing and instead controlling the weapon and the spread by tap firing. So now, before going to A, we want to make sure that there's no stragglers that are going to back cap us at C. And I actually found one of them. There is one or two more, and we clean that up. And right now, it looks like this is going to be a very easy victory. But uh, many times, especially on these small maps, things can change very, very fast. If you really want to win, then it's important to not start relaxing just because it seems like you're going to win that much easily, especially not too early on. Now, the enemies gave up on taking C quite quickly here. We noticed it's just one or two guys that we meet on our way to A. Instead, they've started capping B. And one of the things that I don't really like all that much about, especially this map, and uh, Priest Her and Neville Knights, for example, is that in many situations, what happens is that people go in big groups and basically just run around in circles, mostly avoiding the enemy team, in order to cap empty flags. Now, I think the main reason why that happened is because it's, uh, it, it now gives you so many points just capping a flag that for many players it's not even worth it to actually get into combat. Hopefully, with the release of Battlefield 5, this is going to change. Now, personally, and the more I played this game, I got more and more impatient with staying on empty flags for the capture points. Here's one of those examples. I could have stayed on A just to get some extra points, but I just don't have the patience. I think it's just... Basically, it's just too boring to play that way, and it's a little bit unfortunate, I think, that DICE encourages that type of gameplay. But yeah. Providing feedback for a game that is two years old probably doesn't serve much purpose except for hopefully that the things will change in the upcoming game, in this case, like I said, Battlefield 5. I'm burning in the door. There's still people here. Oh, behind where we came from. Oh my. There's another guy in front. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, we have to deal with a tank here. Yes, I'm sure you noticed I've replaced the AT rocket gun with the default gadget Dynamite. And I've been playing like that for about a week by the time that I'm editing this video. And uh, basically what it does is that against tanks, it kind of gives you the Not same the amount or sometimes even more kills but it's basically just the kind of kills that doesn't really matter that much at least that's my experience of playing this game and focusing on tanks for about two years you will get a lot of kills on tanks with limpet charges and dynamite in a way that to a lot of people will make it seem my as if these close nice range map. damage I'm dealers actually, I, I are just as good against the tanks as the AT rocket gun but me I personally disagree with that totally. The thing is that against good tankers, careful tankers, and strategical experienced tankers, for the most part you just can't get close enough to use these gadgets and at least not to deal enough damage with them to make it matter. To me, the amount of tanks that you kill is not the important thing. 
the important thing is to be able to kill the tanks that are potential game changers. And let's be honest, there isn't all that many players left in this game that are that good at tanking so that they will basically, or partly at least, change the outcome of a whole match. It used to be different though, and uh, using the AT rocket gun properly was a lot more important. I gotta say though, it is a quite nice change of pace to replace the AT rocket gun with the dynamite every once in a while. This video is going to continue with some more examples of assault pushes towards flags, and for the most part, you'll see exactly this loadout throughout the video. Hope you'll enjoy it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, shit. I tried to kill the flame trooper. <laughs> It's a bunch of mortar all the time. He's here. Far, far right. There you go. How am I alive? Enemy tank. We have lost objective Edward. Objective 
I got nothing left. In terms of gadgets. Coming. 